easy troop. In today's video, we are going to look at using Newtone in FL Studio. Going to go over how it works, functions, the nice things you can do with it, and then have a look at a little bit of a creative twist and ways we can maybe vibe something up. So I've just dropped in a sample here. You can see the sample. It was from Splice. Um, and I've just put it on top of a bass beat just with, so we've got something to kind of reference it to. I feel alive and renewed, been waiting so long to stick Get in the mood. Uh, we don't need all of this extra bit, so we're going to hit C, get our little slice tool and just chunk, get that away. So now we've just got a nice little loop here somewhat in time. Okay, there's a few ways that we can get new tone working. You know, we can open the plugin picker up and we can grab it from there. But the most sensible way I think to get it going is have your audio already in and dropped in like this. What you can do as well is click over here and make this a dedicated track. So you're only going to have vocals on this track by going to track mode and then audio track. And then I can go 23 Vox and it's going to send it over to the Vox channel. We can change the color, give it some purple, except there we go. Now we don't need to edit the entire sample. So if we click up here, what we can then do is make this its own thing. So we can make unique as sample like so. This clip is not used anywhere else. That's fine. We're going to say yes. And we can give it a location. I'm going to whack it on the desktop for now. I'm going to call it, ideally you would want to make sure it's in your project folder. So now when we double click on this piece of audio, as you can see in the audio clip portion here, we've got exactly that chopped part that we wanted. And if we right click on here, we can now scroll ourselves down to edit in pitch corrector. And this will save us a whole bunch of steps. It will save us assigning it to a channel. It will save us adding in new tone it will save us finding that clip and bringing it into new tone this one click will do all those steps for us analyze it and bring it in so let's make this a little larger we can go to the corner just here and we can drag this window out we can use these sliders much like in any part of fl studio to zoom in and see what we're working on as you can see what we've basically been given is a series of midi notes that corresponds to the parts of the vocal it's a lot like a piano roll but for audio if we hit play i feel alive and renewed been waiting so long just to get in the we can see as it plays through each note what's going on now there's a lot on the screen what's happening here is each part of the audio has been assigned to a note and is sitting roughly over the note that has been detected and one word might have multiple notes in as it transitions across the orange line is then the movement and transition of those notes where we get a wobble like this for example is the vibrato within that note when it suddenly slopes up and slopes down it's the transition into another note today's video is sponsored by distro kid they let me get my music out to all of the major distributors and they do that at a price an independent artist can easily afford if you're ready to get your music or beats out there and want to release an unlimited amount of music each year check the link in the description below for a discount off of your first year of unlimited distribution with distro kid you notice lots have say an orange box around like this it's just defining that it's within that note but you'll see some have another orange haze around them and that's saying these notes aren't quite in this range but this is where we think they would be and we have global controls to just help us tie everything into that area as well up the top here we have center variation so what center will do is push every single note into where it believes it should be the more we push it up the more it will correct those notes look. And as a result, it will change how the audio sounds. I feel alive and renewed. Been waiting so long just to get in the mood. Ah, and that is some basic harsh pitch correction that's happened straight away. Variation would then be flattening out things like the vibrato. If we bring it down to the left, we've now got that incredibly harsh sounding monotone auto-tune style sound. I feel alive and renewed been waiting so long just to get in the mood ah, I... whereas if we push it the other way we can really overextend that sound i feel alive and renewed been waiting so long just to get in the mood ah, I... for now we'll leave it in the middle ground which is where the original was and we're going to dial center off and let those notes float away to where they originally were now this should be in f minor and we can set things up so that it all Always corrects into F minor and we can see our scale really easily. Under the scissor icon, the edit tool here, 
we can scroll ourselves down to scale and here we can set the scale and as we can see it's currently set wrong but it should be set to f minor so let's go so on the minor side and we go down to f and now whenever we set a note it's always going to set to that scale we can do snap to scale as well and make sure that's switched on and we'll see all of those notes snap to the scale and now when we push center they're going to snap always into f minor and we can see that made some pretty significant changes so let's listen to what we have i feel alive and renewed been waiting so long just to get in the mood and for context it was like this I feel alive and renewed, been waiting so long just to get in the mood. We can see a lot of movement happening there, obviously. I feel alive and renewed, been waiting so long just to get in the mood. Ah, I've been waiting for days, search don't kind of... Now that covers most of the global controls. If we hold down command, we can highlight some specific notes. And then we can manipulate those notes in a group of their own if you needed to do that. Now the real power of this is we can go very very detailed into each individual note and phrase. So let's take this first section here. We can right click and create ourselves a little loop and make sure the loop is on. Alive and renewed, been I feel alive and renewed. We can double click on any note and let's say we don't like the vibrato particularly in this part of the phrase here and we want to make it a little bit more like the others in the phrases. Been, I feel alive and renewed, been yeah that ooh, maybe a bit much. We can double click and now we can see specifically that note and what we can do with it. As you can see we have controls for different aspects of what's going to go on with each part of the sound. We've got variation here with its own little slider and when we click on it we can flatten it out. We can actually push it the other way and invert it but we wanted to just flatten that out a little bit. We can do it in real time. Now let's say that part of the note also sticks out a bit too much. We can take the volume and we can subdue it a bit. Been, I feel alive and renewed. Been, I feel and then perhaps we feel that bin is dropping down a little bit too quick here. We can actually take the control here and adjust how it would drop into that next phrase. We could fade it off ever so slightly as well. And then taking bin, we can perhaps utilize this note here and it would be better if it just dropped down the one phrase and we can use the fade off of the two and the variation to kind of flatten that out a little bit more into the next part of the phrase been, i feel alive and renewed been, i feel alive and renewed been, i feel alive and renewed and if we're not crazy with it it can be pretty subtle and we can really get very detailed vocal correction that way and you could go through the entire thing and correct all those little phrases and improve it as you go. Been renewed, been waiting so long just to get in the mood. So now let's look at doing something maybe a little bit more extreme. So we can take everything here, push it all to center, flatten out that variation. And we could limit it so it's literally only going to happen over a couple of notes. So let's look to take all of the smaller phrases and lock everything together within a single note, getting a really, really exaggerated monotone effect. I feel alive and renewed, been waiting so long just to get in the mood. So that's kind of cool in the way that we could then have a really simple melody written that would fit with this very, very simply as well. So what we'll do is take just these first few bars here and we'll cut the rest away. We can just do that with a backspace and delete and option select this section here. Let's make ourselves another new pattern and let's call it melody option like so. And we're going to send that to the piano roll using this and we'll drag the selection out and just drop it here. We can close away new, new tone. Mm -hmm. We can close away new tone for the moment. I'm just going to mute it over there. Let's get rid of this, and we can just tidy that up real quick. Okay, so we've just got these few bars here now. I feel alive and renewed. Been waiting so long just to get in the mood. I feel alive and renewed. Been waiting so long just to get in the mood. I feel alive and renewed. Been waiting so long just to get in the mood. I feel alive and renewed. Been waiting so long just to get in the mood.
get in the mood. Ah, ah. So that's our ridiculously over pitch corrected piece of audio. And in here, the piano roll, we've got what would now be our new melody potentially. Now we'd really need to tidy it up. So I'm just gonna do that real quickly. And all I'm doing here is tidying up all the jumpy notes just to have it. So we've got sort of more of a, a rhythm. We could actually have that so it goes up and down. We could leave that rhythm at the end as well. I'm just gonna select everything and I want to quantize it as well. Uh, so we're gonna go into tools. We're gonna grab quantize and we want to do probably eight hip hops something like that to give it a bit of a rhythm now we need to send that to go to something else for this example i'm just going to drop it on default in here make sure this is on bar one beat one and now we can put that in below here and if we just solo these two we need to drop this a couple of octaves And we've now got I feel alive and renewed Been waiting so long just to get in the mood uh, I, I feel alive and renewed And that way you've created a custom melody to your new wildly overtuned and overmade vocals. Um, I really hope that's helpful for you guys.